Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to easily create a simple model in FreeCAD using a combination of Parzine, Sketcher, and Sheet Metal Paint Tools. First of all, let's go to FreeCAD and in the start page, create a new document and switch to the part design or bench, so a part design and next create a new body and a new sketch for this first sketch here let's select xy plane and the next go to sketch your geometers and select this tool here line 2 and draw this vertical line in this vertical axis and then select vertical constraint this tool here and now these two endpoints of this vertical line and then this horizontal axis okay and now let's see the dimension for this line here let's go to the string page for this vertical line we'll set this dimension here eight millimeters so now we select this tool here vertical distance tool and then this vertical line here and we set 80 and now escape two times to leave this sketch and from the sketch here we'll create a base band to do that, we go to Sheet Metal Workbench, select Sheet Metal, and the next go to the model tip, and then select this sketch here, and now this tool, base band. Okay, now as you can see, we have this part here, we have this new operation here in the tree view. So next what we'll do is to change some parameters of this operation. So first we select this base band operation and now we go to parameters. The first thing that we'll change here will be the thickness. Let's go to the string pitch. Here we can see the difference. We have this first dimension and then this dimension here. So the difference between these two dimensions is 1.2. So we'll change the thickness here to 1.2 millimeters and enter. Okay. And now let's make these planes visible, select the region and spacebar. Now if we change to the front view, we can see this. Let's suppose that we want this part here in the middle of this axis here. To do that, what we do, we go to baseband and we go to params, band side, we set, we set middle. Okay, and also we change the mid plane here. We'll set through here okay now we have this let's hide these planes here spacebar let's select this operation again as you can see here we have a length of 100 is this the mission here so it's okay and the next what we'll do is to create these two bands here I mean these two bands to do that we need to select these Edge here and now rotate the model and control select this edge and now press home and now select this tool here the call select this band operation and the first thing that we'll do is to change the radius here as you can see the radius is five millimeters let's change here to five okay and also we need to change the duration of these bands to do that we go to this parameter and we set true and enter as you can see now we have this and now let's change the link here to okay as you can see we have 40 here let's change to 40 okay and also we need to change the band type to match with this dimension here 80 so we change here to material inside and enter okay and now we have this and the next thing to do now is to create these two bands this band and this band here to do that we select this edge now rotate this model and select this edge here control select this edge press home and again click in this tool here and as you can see now we have these two bands okay and we need to do some modifications in the parameters of this operation so we select this band operation and the first thing that we'll do is to change the duration of this band so we click here and we set true enter and now we have this okay and next let's change the range here to five millimeters let's set five enter and the next let's set the length of this band 
let's add 20 millimeters here we have 25 these five millimeters is the is this fillet here so we set 20 here and enter we have this and the bent up here will be material outside because if we change these two material inside we'll have these results here so let's select this option material outside and okay so okay now we have this and the next thing to do is to create these fillets here and these holes okay so now what we'll do is to we'll change to the part design of bench click here and select part design and now zoom in select this edge here and now control this edge zoom in and select this edge here and now zoom in control select this edge and now select fillet tool okay let's see the rest of this fillet as you can see here we have eight millimeters for this fillet and for this fillet here we have the same dimension eight millimeters so we change it weight and enter and now let's mirror this fillet to do that we go to the model tip we select this fillet operation and now mirror to this tool here and what you need to do is to change the plane here to be axi plane so click here and select axi plane option and ok and the next let's create these two holes here these four holes let's select this face here and create a new sketch okay and now let's select external jump tool this tool here and let's extract these two edges okay and now select cycle tool through this first cycle and this cycle in the center points here and then select equal constraint and make these two cycles equal and now let's constrain the diameter of these cycles click here and select constraint diameter now the cycle and the diameter as you can see is six millimeters let's change to six and okay now the sketch is full constrained as you can see here so the next thing that we'll do now is to mirror these two cycles here so escape now and zoom in select these two cycles and then these horizontal axis and maxi go to this tool here symmetry okay and now as you can see we have four degrees of freedom here so we need to constrain these two cycles here let's select external jump tool and extract these two edges here and now zoom in escape and select this point here and apply this constraint here constraint constant and do the same for this point okay and now we have this sketch full constrained let's leave this sketch click in this icon and now create a pocket click ok and the next let's create these holes here to do that let's select this face and create a new sketch and now zoom in go to sketch adjustments and select this tool here slot tool draw this slot in this way and now let's hide these constraints here and also let's add the dimensions of this slot okay here we can see that we have this dimension 20 and the range of 1.5 for these arcs so first we click here and we select constraint radius and for this arc we set 1.5 millimeters and for this horizontal line here let's select horizontal distance tool and now this line and uh, let's add 20 millimeters okay now we have this and we also have two degrees of freedom so now what we can do is to select this tool here external jump tool and extract this edge okay here we can see this dimension 40 and 20 so the distance between this point here to this line should be 10 millimeters so let's select horizontal distance tool and then these two endpoints here and let's set 10 millimeters okay and now we need to set the vertical distance here from this point to this origin point here we can see this emission 70 
from the center point to the center point. So let's select vertical distance tool. Click in this center point and now in this origin point and set 35. Okay, and now we have this sketch full constrained. Let's leave this sketch, skip two times. And now create a pocket. Okay, let's change the type here to turbo because we need we need this hole this hole in the side also. Click OK now. And the next thing to do is to create a linear pattern of this pocket. So we go to the model tip and we select this pocket and now we go to this hole here. And the first thing that we'll do is to change the duration to Z axis. Click here and select Z axis and now change the length here to 70. Okay. Okay, here we need to check this option, reverse duration. And now as you can see we have these two holes here. And also let's change the number of occurrence here to 80. Okay, now we have this, let's click OK. First, let's select this face and create a new sketch. And the next, select, click here and select centered rectangle. And then draw this rectangle in this way. Okay. And now let's set the size of this rectangle. First, let's select constraint distance tool. For this horizontal line, let's set 25 millimeters. And this vertical line here, let's set 10 millimeters. Okay, and now we have one degree of freedom, so we need the distance between this line here to this rectangle. So, as you can see, here we have this distance 15 between this line here to this center point of this cycle. So, let's select the external drum tool and extract this edge here. Next, select this vertical distance tool. And the next, select this center point and now this end point. And let's add 15 here. Okay, now this is full constrained. Okay, and let's hide these all constraints and next, select cycle 2 and draw these two cycles. Now select equal constraint and make these two cycles equal. Select symmetrical constraint. Let's select this center point, this center point, and this center point. Okay. And now what I need to do is to select horizontal constraint and make these two points horizontal. Okay. And now let's add the diameter of this cycle. Click here and select these two constraint diameter. And now Click in this edge here and the diameter here should be 3 millimeters. Okay. And now we need to set the distance between these two cycles. As you can see here, here we have 35. So we can select the horizontal distance tool and then these two center points and set the distance. Okay. Now we have this, get two times and create a pocket now. Select this tool. We have this. Click OK. OK, and now let's see how to create these all holes here. First, let's select this face and create a new sketch. And then zoom in. And the first thing that we'll do is to select the external drum tool and extract this edge here. So now we have this point here. We can use this point to set the placement of these cycles. Okay, so now let's select cycle tool and draw the cycle. Select constraint diameter tool, click in the cycle and let's set a diameter of 1.9. Select horizontal distance tool and then this point and this center point. As you can see the distance here is 10. Let's set 10 and now select vertical distance tool. Now this point and this point again set 10 millimeters. Now we have this, as you can see, let's hide these constraints and let's go to the joint page. As you can see, here we have to draw another cycle. 
with these distance here 1.9 so what you do let's say let's cycle 2 or we can create a copy of this cycle here to do that escape and select the cycle and then click here and select clone option and place the cycle here now we have two degrees of freedom here to constrain the placement of this cycle here let's use these two tools here first let's select horizontal distance tool and then this point and this point here and set 1.9 okay and now select first call distance tool and then this point and this point here and set 1.9 okay now we have the sketch full constrained let's leave this sketch click here in this icon and let's create a pocket and click OK. Okay, now we have these two holes here. And to create these all holes, what you'll do is to use this tool here, Mode Transform Tool. To do that, first we need to select the operation. So let's go to the model tip and here we need to select this pocket, this last operation, and then this tool. Okay, let's press home and rotate the model and let's go to transformations here then click on mouse and select linear pattern and now scroll down here and first we'll change the duration to y-axis click here and select y-axis and also we'll change the length here place this formula minus 20 okay so now we have this as you can see and also we need to change the number of occurrence here to let's change to 14 and we have this click ok okay and now just click on mouse and select again this option scroll down and now we change the duration to z axis okay and now let's add reverse duration and also let's change the length here to 40 okay and the number of occurrence here will change to let's try okay let's add 9 and okay and click okay again press on now as you can see we finish the design of this simple model using the part design sketcher and sheet melter workbench thank you for watching this video if you found this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and if you want to support this channel you can do that just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my ko page thank you for watching i hope to see you in the next video